The careers of Sid Craig and Jenny Gidras Bork merged in the 1970s when they joined forces in marriage and in business. Sid had been a partner in Body Contour Incorporated, a chain of ladies' figure salons. Jenny, a manager of an exercise gym, had joined the company and soon became its manager of operations. Together, they built Body Contour Incorporated into a $35 million a year business. In 1982, they sold their interest in that company and, faced with a non-compete clause in the U.S., moved to Australia in order to open a chain of weight loss centers. This was the beginning of Jenny Craig Incorporated. Based on the theory that a healthy body could be achieved through nutritious eating, physical activity, and positive lifestyle changes. In 1985, they introduced the Jenny Craig concept to the U.S. market, starting with 12 centers in Los Angeles. The company now boasts 800 centers in the U.S., Australia, New Zealand, and Puerto Rico, and is a $400 million a year business. I was born in a little town called Berwick, Louisiana. I can remember my dad having like three jobs at a time in order to, to support his family. He would come home only long enough really to eat and go to the next job. And sadly, that was happening simultaneously with my mother getting very ill. She had three strokes. You know, she was only 49 when she died. It was really tough because I missed my mother very much. I had Michelle, and during that pregnancy, I gained over 50 pounds. So I began looking for something that could solve the problem. I did lose weight, and I realized how women losing weight, their whole personalities changed. I saw this ad in the paper, a new technique without physical exercise. So I went in, and that's how Sid and I met. My uh, mother came from Romania when she was 13 years old, and she immediately got married. She had a baby at 14. My dad was a gambler, and he really didn't work. My mother was the breadwinner, and she always wanted me to be Shirley Temple. And she had me in the R Gang comedies and, uh, and Bud Murray with a dancing group. I, I never really made it. I got drafted, so I went in the Navy. I went to Arthur Murray's at night, and I got a part-time job while I was in the Navy. When I got out of the Navy, I decided I gotta, gotta get serious now about my career. Ended up owning the largest chain in Arthur Murray's. I did that for the first 20 years of my career. I decided to get in this business, weight loss and health. That's where I met Jenny. And we ended up in Australia, opening nine stores, and the first six months or eight months, we really had, had it kind of tough. We paid off all of our debts and had money in the bank, and we decided to come back and open up uh, California. I started doing the commercials and did them all the way up until I had my accident that caused my jaw problem. It affected my speech. I felt awkward and embarrassed in the beginning. I thought about it and I said, you know, um, I, I have two options here. I can retreat into the home and shut out life, or I can go out there and do something about it. And that's what I decided to do. You have to define to your unconscious mind what is success, and then make your definition of success what your goal is. Find something you love to do, and then take it to where your dreams will allow you to take it. Ladies and gentlemen, Horatio Alger Association members, Jenny and Sid Craig.